Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's nice to see all your smiling faces. My name is Ray and I'll be taking your x-rays. Today, we're gonna be going over five tips that you should know before you enter the radiology program. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you one game changer, one bonus tip that I wish I would have known way back when before entering the program to make life that much easier. Trust me, believe me. Let's get into it. Y'all like the intro? They're like, just a lot of people just like, oh, I like the intro, man. Just, if you like the intro, press that like button, just do it. And just speaking of that intro, I want to, let's talk about the intro real quick though, because it means a lot to me. The intro is basically each milestone of me and the program. You know, me getting accepted. Woo, you know, man, I was excited. And then walking the stage, getting my AS degree. Um, and then, you know, the pinning ceremony. And then my last day of clinics. And then actually taking the board exam, because when you take the board exam, you get your results right there and then. I kind of put more pressure on me, and I wanted it to be a family thing. I wanted to share the moment, whether I failed or whether I, I passed or not. I drove my family uh, to Oakland, where I got my, where I, where I did my board exam. And that's me going to the car, and just they, uh, a, a relief little the woo you know it oh man that's why that is amazing and of course you know at the end that's just me finally full circle boom me finally uh registered radiology technologist first of all i want to start off with this these three questions can you do it will it work and is it worth it if you answered yes to all these three questions you are empowered you are competent look up those words if you don't know what those mean but <laughs> you have the necessary ability knowledge or skill to do this successfully believe in yourself you got this let's go tip number one it's pretty simple make sure this is the right career choice for you so speaking from experience my program uh it was a prerequisite so you had to have 50 hours of shadowing um in the radiology department you can either go to a hospital or an outpatient clinic. Me, I went to uh, my local hospital, the Trauma One Center. So I saw everything firsthand. I saw the traumas, the emergency room. It was attached to the uh, uh, imaging department. Um, and I just got to see the news before the news. I got to see, you know, compound fractures, GSW, gunshot wounds, patients firsthand on, you know, gurneys, on beds, on stretchers. And I believe at the end, um, I got to go see an OR case. It was, a, it was a cholangiogram. It was a simple, you know, now that I look back at it, but at the time you know I was I was very new to everything and uh, I just remember that day I was you know I was nervous and I think that's why going into surgery you know in the program I was always nervous too because of that situation you have let on for the first time you're just like oh you know I'm like this seems little pretty cool kind of everything's all sterile and everything so if you don't know what a cholangiogram is look it up and a lot of things too here you know I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is I want you to go out there and you know, do the research. I don't wanna just spoon feed things to you, but look it up. It was the first time I ever seen a surgery case in person. I seen it, you know, on TV and everything and it would get me kind of squeamish. So if it got me squeamish on TV, it really got me squeamish in the OR room. And you know, you had the thyroid shield and I just felt like it was choking me and I just, Oh man, I was I was very nauseous, but needless to say, I got through it, and that's one one story that I'll never forget. So this tip is is, is up there because you know you need to know is am I going to be able to do this on a daily basis? Coming into the uh, the program, I just thought you're going to press a button. I you know I knew there was more to it, but uh, shadowing a uh, X-ray tech or just shadowing just a, a radiology department really sheds some light on what I would be expecting in the future in my career. Tip number two. I can't really rank these tips, man. It's just have a support system. This is very, very important because it's a two and a half year program, man. It seems, you know, it's, it's a small number two, two and a half, but it's 365 times two and a half. What is that? Two hours later. That's 912 and a half days. But during that time, just like anything else in life, it's not gonna go as planned. You're gonna have hiccups in the road, bumps in the road. So you need to plan A, B, C, D, E, just in case, you know, nothing goes as planned. You know, luckily for me, um, I was blessed enough to go into the program single, not very much responsibilities. My car was paid off. I was fortunate enough to, to have my family willing to take me back 
into their house and pay a small fee for rent and salute and I respect all those other single mothers, single dads out there. Um, I heard, you know, heard other people, they had different stories. They had it a lot more difficult than I am. You know, I always heard my classmates about their kids keeping them up and so I respect all of them, man. And speaking of kids, you know, if you have kids, have a plan for them about childcare, schooling and picking them up, your significant other, they're gonna be needing to carry the load, taking care of them because you are gonna be, you know, you need to study. That's gonna be very important. Hopefully it doesn't, but you may need to, you know, borrow money to, to pay for things, gas, just to have that support to fall back on, just in case, you know, your plan doesn't fall through have that in the back of your mind that you know if you do fall you know they got you you know and uh, transport speaking from my experience my program my uh, my school my campus was about about 45 minutes away you know clinic that's about an hour away and it, it just varies from clinical sites you're gonna waste a lot of gas you're gonna put a lot of mileages on your car and you know what if that car breaks down you know you need to have that family that friend to, to borrow their car until you get another means of transportation and I think this is one of the main reasons to have a support system to keep you mentally focused. It's a long program. You need that friend. You need that family member, family members, friends, plural. When you need to get out, when you need to get in touch with reality, you need that time away from school. You know, you need to have fun. You can't just stay in your books, man. So it's very important to have a support system. You're gonna, unfortunately, you're gonna go through friends, you're gonna go through family that you'll understand who are the real ones. And it's a trying time, it's, it's, it's a test, man. But, you know, whoever's, whoever's meant to be for you, whoever's meant to be in your life, they'll stick around no matter what. Tip number three, Melo! yeah, I'm a mellow fan, is time management. This is very important as well. They, all these tips are important, man. So jot these down, take some notes. Um, time management, Who? All right, so speaking from experience, I can only you know speak from experience in my program. First semester is just, you're in class. You're just diving into the books about patient care, about, you know, just fundamentals and stuff about radiology. So my program started in fall of 2016 and you are in class three days a week. And then the upcoming semester, you start your clinical rotations, you'll be in clinic two days a week and then you'll be in class three days a week. In summer, you'll have two days of clinic, one day of class. In your second fall semester, you have two days of clinic and one day of class. And then your last year, which is called your internship, you'll be at your clinical site four days a week and one day a class. If you want me to get into all the real details, you know, how many hours, what you study during those times in the semester and all that, um, I still saved all my papers. So just let me know and I'll make another video uh, in detail about, you know, my program and what I did during those times. But um, man, time management is very important. Um, they tell you to, I'll speak on this on another tip, is to quit your job, not to have a job because they want you to focus your time and energy into the program. However, for me, I worked two jobs, two jobs my first year. I worked at Champ Sports at the mall. Hey, what's that Champs fan? Uh, I was a stalker, a uh, stock man, stock person in the back, uh, just putting away shoes. If you didn't know, I'm a sneaker head. Um, and it just kept me busy and, you know, just kind of get some income in my pocket. And also was a busser. Uh, what's up, La P fan? So at least for me, I can speak, you know, from myself and my experiences. The first year is doable. I like to say that I had fun still. I went out and I, you know, I got a lot of stuff done. But the second year, my internship, that's when I started to realize, oh man, I do not think I can keep two jobs. I don't think I can keep on going out. And then, you know, to the gym, I like to stay fit. But my last year, my internship, I put that to the side. Got to really prioritize and priority was my career. This is my life. So I put that at the top. I put the gym to the side. I can remember, um, I love basketball, obviously, unfortunately. Fortunately, you know, I'm a Lowell Kings fan. Man, hey, one day we're gonna make it to the playoffs and we're gonna go to the championship, all right? But I remember that I didn't even know what was going on in the NBA playoff. I was just so focused and devoted uh, with the program. And that's what you gotta do, man. You gotta have sacrifice. And uh, I'll try to find a schedule that my program, my teacher printed out this kind of a schedule. And then you would allocate your time, family time, your friends time. It works. 
kind of gave you a perspective on how your daily routine would be. And it's kind of an eye opener. It really helped. And I'm gonna try to find that for you guys. Hopefully I have it somewhere here. And at the end, you know, it, time management comes down to, does this certain thing add value to my life? And that's when I started to prioritize things. You know, obviously the program was up here cause that's adding value to my life. But then, you know, going out, I just say no a lot. Know, to friends, you know, hey, you know, come out. I was like, nah, man, I gotta stay in. And it was hard, you know, cause just, cause if that's just me, you know, I would always go out, but um, I had to uh, prioritize. And, um, you know, was that really adding value to my life? Nah, you know, if, you know, if they are true friends, that will always be there later on after the program. I can have fun later on, but right now, let's get down to business. Tip number four. Kind of touched on this with tip number three, but save your money. Have money saved up, secure the bag because you will need it. You will need it. And it just helps too. If you have that money saved up, you're, you're preparing yourself, you're setting yourself for success. Um, unfortunately me, um, I can honestly be transparent with you guys. I was, I was not responsible. I didn't have enough money saved up in my bank account. So that's why obviously I work two jobs. Um, but I know that some people, they do have money saved up and they didn't work. And it obviously reflected in class. They would get A's man, just A's and A's and A's. <sighs> I was jealous, but then I knew that, you know, it was my fault, it's no one else's fault. Definitely had money saved up. That way you can focus all your time, all your attention into your schoolwork, into your books, and you know, just studying. And you know, when you have money saved up, obviously when you do have those things that come down the line, that come down the road, bumps and you know, situations, transportation, new new tires. We do have those situations that come up with car maintenance, bills, unforeseen circumstances. You know, you have that money saved up to take care of that. And then that kind of leads up to my fifth tip, which is tip number five. If it's possible, quit your job. Don't go into the program with a job or at least, you know, uh, find a job that is willing to put up with your schedule. Um, fortunately, for me, thank you, Veronica. Thank you, Shayla. Those are two of my managers that worked with my work schedule all the way up until I had to quit. And I'm not, you know, I guess it's kind of, it's a good and bad thing. You know, I, I don't like to quit. I wanted to help out and, you know, I needed the money too, so. But they were willing to put up with my, with my ever-changing schedule. Um, some days, you know, I couldn't come in because I needed to study or I was just too overwhelmed. I was getting burnt out. But luckily enough, you know, they didn't fire me. They believed in me. They gave me a chance and they saw me through the, uh, the program and I am in forever debt to both of you and you know, just the rest of the crew, the other managers putting up with my schedule, man, because they got me through the program. Like I said, you know, I didn't have money saved up, so I had to work. So luckily I had two great managers that, you know, understood my circumstance and they rolled with me until the end. And again, I appreciate y'all, thank you. And yeah, those are my five tips that um, I wanted to let you guys know before you enter the program. There's so many other tips, man, out there that, um, you know, I just kind of want to put them down to five. These are like my top five, I guess, in no particular order. It's just something for you to kind of think about before entering the program so you're not surprised. I'm trying to set you up for success. This is coming from someone that was in the program. And oh yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Game changer, game changer, baby. So this right here, man, this is something that they don't really talk about in school. They don't talk about life. Thank you for staying till the end and for my gift to you to help you on this journey to achieve your goal, your dreams. This will help you tenfold. I wish I would have known this before entering the program, just in life in general. I'm gonna link, boom, here's some, some card up here to this video that changed my life and it was after the program. But it's a video to show you on how to use the most valuable, powerful tool that you have to your disposal. And it's free. It's boop, your brain, man, your brain. I never really looked into, you know, psychology or anything like that and how the brain works until I, I had my career already, you know, I had my dream and I was just sitting around and I wasn't happy. I was just like, why am I unmotivated right now? You know, you hit a wall and you start thinking and stuff. And then I just hopped on YouTube and that's basically kind of like, it's crazy because this is where I am, where I am today with this whole YouTube channel. I understood how my brain worked. I understood why I am the way I am, how I was programmed at an early age. And then that's also kind of like, you know, I thought back and I'm like, dude, this is why I always got good grades when I actually studied, studied because I, I would cram. I would always like, 
I, since I can remember, I always crammed before I went to sleep. And then right when I woke up, I crammed again. Not knowing, you know, my brain was kind of in a hypnosis stage and it was, you know, getting drilled in my brain, programmed in my brain. And that's why I was able to retain the uh, the knowledge, the memory uh, when I took the test. And that's, it's crazy because that's literally how I would study. Unfortunately, it's not the best way to study, or I guess it is. Yeah, I would always cram and before and after I woke up and I felt like sometimes I was dreaming of it. Makes sense, right? Uh, watch that video and this all makes sense what I'm talking about right now. And then, you know, I'm thinking about now how uh, everything is just so easy to me. Everything is so easy in my career. I remember obviously when I first started, man, just getting detented, getting the angles of uh, 30 degrees, upshot, down to central ray, where is it supposed to go? And now being a year already as a registered tech, it's just like, it's second nature. It's like boom, boom, bam, bam, detent, boom. All my exams are like under five minutes and it's just, I don't have to study anymore. No it's drilled, it's programmed in my head. So understanding your brain and how it works, it's amazing. Another tip for your students out there, man. Your first class, the first week, the first month, it's gonna be tough because it's not programmed in your head, but eventually, eventually, stay with me, stay with me. It will all make sense. It will all get easier. Trust me, believe me, do not quit just taking one step at a time it will all get easier it is worth it i'm living proof all right let's go baby all right i believe in you believe in yourself and that's why i say man if if i would have known what i would know now back then and just understanding that eventually it will get you know easier i mean you hear it yeah it will get easier but understanding why it will get easier it just man man you're welcome you're welcome, all right? That's why, like I said, I'm here to make your life easier. If you found this video informative, it help you in any sort of type of way, please press that like button, subscribe, share this video with anyone else that is interested in the radiology program. Um, I have so much more videos to share with you guys. I just got done with a little practice video, tips and tricks on positioning, on exams, man. It's, it's gonna be something, man. It's Stay tuned, I, I have fun doing it. I have so much more knowledge that I wanna share with you guys to help you get to your goals, to achieve your goals, to reach your dreams, man. It's also worth it. Stay focused, keep your eyes on the prize. You didn't get this far, so get this far, baby. In the end, everything will be great. If it's not great right now, then it's not the end. My name is Ray and I'll be taking x-rays. Peace.